This is a Missouri River flooding update by Council Bluffs and Pottawatomie County officials. In these briefings, officials will inform you about projects and developments in regards to the Missouri River, other creeks and rivers in the county, and rain. Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 30th. Um, this is uh, what I hope will be our last uh, update for the flood. Um, the river level currently, uh, as of this morning, was at 31.69 feet. Uh, which means that we're, you know, less than a foot really of being off the levees in Council Bluffs. The, uh, the county elected to come off of uh, the incident command system uh, effective Saturday morning. Um, we've had, um, you know, with the river uh, dropping, uh, we've really, I, I guess at least from the county perspective, decided it's a better use of our resources at this point to, uh, to move into assessment of the damage uh, recovery and, uh, and trying to get our road system uh, squared away so we can get folks, at least the ones that can, get back into their homes, back into their homes. Um, obviously, I mean, a couple of, uh, of, of areas of concern obviously still uh, exist, um, you know, within the city of, uh, of Council Bluffs. But in terms of the, uh, you know, kind of the emergent public safety issue, um, the, uh, the, the county is elected to take down our incident command. Uh, FEMA, uh, we're still optimistic that we're going to uh, uh, see some, uh, some movement on the individual assistance uh, declaration appeal. I know that we've had FEMA teams uh, um, looking at, uh, at new damage numbers uh, in over the past week. And, um, and we're hopeful in the next couple of days that we may see some good news um, in, that, uh, in that vein. A bad news front from FEMA, I have seen some news reports that they're out of money. And so, um, especially with Hurricane Irene striking along the eastern seaboard, um, it looks like um, the, the timing of getting certain funding in may be problematic. But, um, you know, we can't really worry about how they're going to pay for it until we decide um, if they decide if they're going to pay for it. And so at this point, our, our main concern is still getting that individual assistance declaration, and, uh, and then we'll worry about uh, how that funding stream goes through um, at that time. Um, Manawa, uh, I know uh, Don may talk about this a little bit. Manawa continues to be problematic. That is a DNR. That is a state-owned and managed lake. Um, and... Um, but I, I am aware we've been around it. I went around with our emergency manager uh, a couple of times in the past several days um, where water levels continue to rise. Um, we're hopeful as the, uh, as the river level uh, continues to drop that uh, the folks around Manawa will see some relief. But I know that that's an area that still bears watching. Um, also, Fort Calhoun um, recently went down from their um, notice of unusual event. They've been operating under, uh, under basically that flood advisory for the past 85 days. And it's my understanding either yesterday or today um, they came out of their uh, unusual event notification. And so, I mean, I think this is all good news. Um, obviously now um, we have to, uh, to shift our focus to, uh, you know, to some you know, repair of some very important critical infrastructure so we can get folks back into their businesses and homes. Uh, again, hopefully, barring any extremely unusual event, this will be our last uh, media briefing um, on this event. A couple notes uh, to make today, effective noon today. Uh, the City of Council Bluffs will cancel its alert level one status. Uh, also effective at 5 p.m. today, the city will close its flood event call center, uh, which we've had open uh, since, uh, well, the last several months. Uh, today, the National Guard uh, is the last day. Uh, the National Guard uh, will be monitoring and patrolling uh, the Missouri River and Indian Creek levees and Mosquito Creek levee. Uh, they will be uh, returning back to their homes uh, tomorrow and the following day. Uh, I'd also would like to inform you that uh, the city is going to open up the gate to the Iowa side of the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge on Saturday. I believe the time is 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, city staff from Public Works and Parks and Recreation are also evaluating the opening up of other levy uh, bicycle and pedestrian trails. Um, through the community. Uh, we will have some further notices on that. We do still have some areas uh, definitely down by the I-80 bridge and the Western Historic Trail Center that are underwater. Uh, there are some spots along Veterans Memorial Highway that are underwater. Plus, we've got uh, hard pipes that go across the, the levees and there's asphalt, uh, um, kind of an asphalt road, road built up over those. So, We've got to go through and evaluate that, appropriately sign them, uh, clean up a couple places, patch a couple places. 
Uh, so it'll take a couple days for us to do that, and then we can publish a, a new map. Uh, I'd like to inform people who uh, may have had uh, water in their basement or uh, that there is a uh, informational meeting today at ISD from 7 to 9. Uh, there is an expert coming in from North Dakota uh, State University uh, on how to uh, clean up after uh, water in your basement. Um, other than that, um, Matt did go over the river levels. Uh, we do anticipate to be below uh, 31 feet in the next several days. Uh, it sounds like we will hover around the 30 foot, 31 foot range for the next couple weeks. Uh, and then beginning on September 15th, the Corps will start their second drawdown schedule. Uh, and it's my understanding they will hold uh, releases from Gavin's Point at 90,000 until that date of September 15th, and then they will reduce that amount by 5,000 uh, cubic feet per second daily for 14 days, uh, which means uh, we should have a, you know, flow around 40,000 uh, CFS uh, by September 24th, and we're projecting the river level at that time would be 23 to 24 feet. Um, also, Public Works reports that uh, the city pump stations are all in operation today. Uh, they have all their auxiliary pumps working. Uh, they will be monitoring the rainfall and the weather conditions throughout the day to ensure that uh, we minimize street flooding as best we can. And the only other thing of note is Mid-American Energy did report that we've had some minor uh, scattered uh, power outages in the community that they're working on. That concludes my report.